So here you have the S-curve right here in downtown Grand Rapids. One of the ideas that this group has is to knock this down and then have a boulevard or a parkway going right through the center of the city. It'd be a lot like Lakeshore Drive in Chicago if you've ever driven there. So I've been talking to the guys do behind this idea and with MDOT on Tuesday to just figure out all the options for what is really a West Michigan landmark. It's very unique. When you say the S-curve, everyone knows you're talking about Grand Rapids. A staple of the city skyline and a main road for 110,000 cars and trucks traveling north and south through West Michigan every day. Now, as the Michigan Department of Transportation gets ready for a study looking at the 131 corridor through Kent County, a group headed by Parking Commissioner Andy Guy wants to get rid of the S-curve. In an email to me today, Guy outlines the need for, quote, more appropriate and visionary urban infrastructure and stresses how important it is that, quote, the inevitable future public investment in the 131 highway supports and enhances rather than obstructs the revitalization of our city and her neighborhoods. The group says that something like an at-grade boulevard through the city could bring more vitality and life to the urban core. I mean, for one, it's the only north-south route. But MDOT spokesman John Richards says the whole idea is just too expensive. Just modernizing and changing the uh, existing freeways by the S-curve in 131 would be in the billions of dollars. The S-curve just underwent a $145 million rebuilding project in 2000. Plus, there's everybody already on the ground. But maybe there's a way to make it all work. There would ever be a discussion of, hey, let's, you know, let's build this boulevard, but let's keep the S-curve too. 131 was built first and the town grew up around it, so the interchanges at you know, Franklin and um, Market and Wealthy, um, those are intersections that would, interchanges that would be modernized if we had the money to do it. Now the group is actually working on a visual concept right now to show what exactly downtown would look like without the S-curve. They're going to present that to this study when it starts up later this spring. In Grand Rapids, Mitch Fick, Fox 17 News.